friends. Although I have many squat racks, I recognize that many of you don't. And right now you're out of a gym, you may be out of money, you may be out of a job, who knows? So today I wanna to show you how to build a squat rack, a squat stands for 50 bucks. This is something I've used in the past. They're super cheap. They're not the most stable, but they work. They're gonna hold whatever weight you can lift. I wanna show you how to do this, so let's go to Home Depot. Okay, I'm editing this video and there's two things I wanna say real quick. One is, I know in the comments people are gonna say, that's not very safe, you're gonna get hurt, yada, yada, yada. Listen, there are people in China, women in China using a very similar setup, it's not DIY, but it's a very similar squat stand that are lifting way more than anybody in the comments. <laughs> Two, we're getting ready to come out with a lot of DIY setups and ideas and things like that. So if you like this sort of thing, subscribe. Now let's go to Home Depot. Okay, here in Home Depot, obviously there's a lot of different type of wood, a lot of different sizes. I suggest going with two by four because it's gonna be your best price. Uh, but you could go with two by six if you wanted. You're obviously gonna pay more. Um, it may be a little bit more stout. You may not be able to fit it in your bucket, uh, but I would suggest two by four because they've got two by four here for $3.42. So we're just gonna get a few of these and then I'll show you a pro tip on getting these cut in-house. Okay, so I got the cuts taken care of. Uh, Home Depot will cut two cuts on every piece of wood for free. Additional is 50 cents. I think it's worth doing. Uh, but once you have your cuts, these are all of my beautiful cuts that I'll take back to the garage to put together. You're also gonna need some concrete. And there's a lot of different concretes that are available. You can go with some that's like crack resistant. You can also do something just a regular mix or high strength. If you're really planning on using this a long time, I would probably go high strength. Uh, but for me, I'm just gonna go the cheapest route and that's gonna be just a general Quick Creek concrete mix for three bucks and 60 cents. It doesn't get much better than that. Now you're only gonna need one bag. You don't need a ton of different bags for this. You just need one bag to take care of it. 30 pounds in one side, 30 pounds in the other. Uh, that should give you enough of a strong base. If you want a stronger base, you can double it up, but 30 pounds should be good in each. to the concrete and the wood, I got some buckets. I got three buckets, you can get by with two buckets. The reason I'm doing three is I'm gonna have one that I'm gonna mix in and then the other two are gonna be where the actual squat rack posts, the uprights go into. In addition to that, you're gonna need some screws. Lots of screws available. I would suggest getting two and a half inches. That's what I'm gonna get, number 10. Uh, you don't need a ton of these, so I suggest just getting as cheaply as you can. You could also just get away with using bolts to screw in and keep them together, and you're also gonna need some wood glue. All right, so I'm in and out of Home Depot for less than 50 bucks for everything you need. This isn't like, uh, I'm gonna get home, you're gonna need extra stuff. This is literally everything you need except for water. Boom, right there. I'm now gonna put it in my absolutely massive truck that I've got waiting. <laughs> Just kidding. So we have all our wood. Like I said, they cut it in store for you. We have our concrete. We have our buckets. There's extra wood left over. We've got our wood glue. We've also got our screws. Total for this entire project, just to show you, just so it's, it's real here, that is 49 bucks and eight cents for all the goodies. Everything you need to make this, okay? Literally everything except the water. Let's make it. So here's the lay of land of everything we've got. We have two pieces of 38 inches. We have two pieces of 40 inches, two pieces of 58 inches, 
two pieces of 60 inches and two pieces of 78 inches. You can cut these yourself or I would suggest having Home Depot or Lowe's, whoever you go to, do it because it's going to be free um, and very quick. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to take these pieces and again, this is going to be determined the length of these by your height. So depending on how tall you are, I'm five, nine and a half, five, ten. Uh, so I say about six foot. No, I'm about five, nine and a half. Um, so that gives you an idea of where I'm at. Uh, but you know, base yours upon how tall you are. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start building the structure. This is a very simple DIY, so this shouldn't take very long. Okay, now to make this as simple as possible, we're going to glue and screw these. Like I said, this is a very simple, very easy build that everyone can do, so everyone can get strong. So now we glue and we screw. Now that you have your two base layers, which is where you're gonna bench press from, now you just start stacking. So this next one is gonna be like the outer edge J cup of the upright for the squatter station. Glue and screw. Uprights are now complete. Here they are. Just to show you what they're for, this is for benching, this is for squatting, and then this upright to go up against. Uh, you definitely don't need to make it this tall, but the instructions that I initially found for this from Strength Co, I'll put a link in the bio, they did this, and I thought it was a good idea because it just provides you more space to put the bar up against. Uh, so here it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some concrete and we're going to place it in our bucket. This is very easy again, and then we let it dry. So let's do that part. Now we're gonna take our concrete. We're gonna mix it in a bucket. I got an extra bucket to make this happen. That's why I bought three buckets, and then I've actually got four buckets because I've got another one for water. You can use something else as your water source, but you're just gonna slowly mix it. So let's do it. concrete is now good to go. You want it to be a soupy mixture. Honestly, I put in too much water, but it'll be good enough. Now, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna pour the concrete around the uprights, um, get them level, and then we'll leave them overnight, and we'll come back, and tomorrow, they should be fine enough to lift. They'll take a few days to fully cure, maybe a few weeks to fully cure, but they'll be fine enough to lift, at least for my purposes, pretty quickly. Well, I've got them all poured and they're ready to sit and get harder. Here they are. You can look inside, see the concrete in there, concrete in there. I'll zoom out so you can see the uprights. They're beautiful. So soon enough, once they'll be hard enough, we can lift on them. Till then, we've got to wait. You know what? Let's use the power of movie magic and let's have them done just extremely quickly, like within a snap of a finger. Okay, boom, we're done. Okay, this is the next morning. Here is the concrete. It's still not fully cured or dried. It's gonna take, you know, I think they say like 28 days for it to fully cure, but I think it's good enough to kind of test some of the stability. So I went ahead and put a bar on. I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm gonna put some weight on and we're just gonna use it, show you kind of how we use it and uh, go from there.
want to show you that you don't have to be scared of this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this. So I would definitely call that a success. That's 365 pounds on the bar. You know, I wouldn't recommend lifting more than 405 pounds, 450 on these, uh, but for the majority of the population, that's gonna work. If you wanna make them more stable, put more concrete in the bottom. Um, you can also put dumbbells around them so they shake a little bit less, but overall, I think for a lot of people in this situation, this could work. A couple caveats. Number one, I wouldn't bench on this without spotters. I don't think that's smart. You can get hurt. Uh, number two, I would highly suggest you buying a squat rack, not doing this unless you can't find anything. You just have to train. This is really just, I have no money. I need to train or I can't find a squat rack. This is that solution. <laughs> 